friends, good morning, good afternoon, good morning, uh, wherever you are, hello, we're back internet, we're back, so we're back today with the um, Lego Minecraft-esque mock valley, um, it's a complete valley we're building, remember that, if you haven't seen the previous videos, please go check them out, link in the description below, check them out, get yourself back up to speed, uh, there's quite a few videos in this series. Do three videos a week, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Some may say that's a few videos, that's too many videos a week. Well, this thing moves quick, so I don't like doing anything to the project unless I'm recording it. So, there you go. I don't want anybody thinking, Ooh, well, you know, it's a bit no, 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 this is completely legit. Anyway, before we start, before we start, quick announcement. This project will be in the Blocks magazine, November edition. More details to follow soon, but this project will be in the Blocks Lego magazine. I'm going to be in Blocks magazine, baby. So thanks to all your support. It, 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 it's blowing my mind, the amount of support that's out there right now for this project. Um, but I'm, just, I'm just literally a bearded, mohawked chap who... Enjoys Lego. That's all I am. That's all I am. I do all of this for Lego. Not for me. You don't need to see who I am, what you know, what I look like. It's all about the Lego. Hence the setup. So without further ado, Blocks Magazine, November edition. More details to follow. Let's get cracking on with this. So as per usual, we're gonna whip the roof off. And then we're gonna start work on this on the table. We just whiz that off. As you can see. Nice and simplistic design on this one. Very simplistic design on that one. Nothing overly complicated. Um, as per last episode, this had the redesign done to it. I've added in this little balcony section um, just to try and give this window a little bit of give a bit of a panache. Trying out a different idea. Like I said, there's a couple of experiments. This is with the other one. Gone a lot better than I thought. So what I may do is I may tend. The windows um, all over the building give them like little things like this might even give them flower boxes you know to put some flowers in that sort of thing we might spruce it up a bit I don't know yet so give me a moment we'll whisk this out of the way and put that put it on the other desk and we'll bring the other board in we get some building done <laughs> right so here we are Ta -da! so First things first, this is the way that obviously the staircase goes. Now, there's a slight problem. This this opening is two, two studs wider than we actually require. So what we're going to do is when you get a couple of 2x12s, or 1x12s, because there's two of them, so there's 1x12, you, know, you know what I mean. Um, and we're going to cover up some of these holes. So what we're going to do, by st start by doing is this. Now, usually, I'd use a couple of 1x6s, but um, I had some friends sending some bits and pieces of the way. Um, all the details are on the screen. Um, as always, none of this is sponsored. All I'm doing is something, I believe, which it's my, it's my, it's my logic it's my thinking you know it's nothing religious or or political or anything like that it's nothing anyone else should do it's just what i do when i find people that are nice and polite i like to pass what i like to pass that forward if someone is kind to me i will pass that kindness forward that's all i do it's a very old thing and you know what i i think it's it's just what i like to do it's my thing Anyway, that's all we're doing, just passing that kindness forward. Um, personally, I think it goes a long way. Bit of kindness in the world. So, we need some 1x4s. Pop that in there like that. And da -da -da -da. And pop that one there, because obviously we're going to use the corner pieces that we use. Um just quickly looking at this um, uh, 
I'll put a couple of stabilizing plates underneath like that. Not for anything other than just from pressing down, they don't break. So it's just to keep it steady. If they need to come off, they'll come off, but once the wall's on, they'll be fine anyway. So that goes on like that. First of the big tubs to come out today. It's a bit of noise, I do apologise. So we start by putting the corners in. Thinking I may need to put a plate there as well. That's helped somewhat. There we go. Lovely. So we'll pop a couple of rows of these on. Then we're going to put the rest of the, uh, the brickwork in. Sadly, I've got no windows to place today. Uh, that's because I'm currently waiting for another delivery. Well, yes, folks, we are getting to the point where we're going to be waiting for parts. But luckily, luckily, by the time this comes out, um, I'll have those parts already. So this is why I record so many videos because I get myself ahead whilst waiting for parts. The project is still being shown. People I can still work on it. Um, I can still work on other aspects of it, which which is nice. See where we end up, shall we? Finally, I had some one by twos turn up today. Cool. The other thing is, just want to mention that if I released a video for this say, every couple of months, showing all oh, I've done all this work, then people may get bored and forget about the project and things like that. So that's why I'd rather put out short, regular content. Makes it a bit more pleasant. That's just my thinking. The project's constantly changing, so um, it does it does good sometimes. Next, we need to mark out where the doors are going to go. So what we need now is some one oh, I need some one by sixes check out four of them so the corridor is going to be here the corridor as always is four wide Corridors are always four wide. One, two, three, four, five. So that goes there. That one goes on there. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so we need a one by two. Like so. That's that bit. And go there, then um, 
two, three, four, five. That's cool, that can go there. So what happened is bedroom, bedroom, cupboard as usual. There's a cupboard on every floor. Um, it's just so I can place um, bits and pieces into it. Um, chests going there, little boxes, storage boxes, etc. Just this is, this is an inn, so obviously for me it's going to be containing bedding, uh, supplies like that. The whole things do get decorated. Um, if you check out my social media, you'll see the pictures there. Um, there is an episode due out soon that will dis um, show all the internals of all the houses so far that have been finished. That will be the vicarage and the bungalow. Um, this hasn't been finished yet. Um, some of the internals have already been done, some of, but not the whole thing. Um, this one's going to be a bit of a project um, in its own right. So next we need the bricks to do the walls. What else I'm going to do? Tile. What I'm going to do while I've got a chance to, and while I've just thought about it, and it's an immensely good idea. Um, the bedrooms um, all have personalised floor, and each floor of each bedroom will be different. The the public areas, i.e., walkways, stairways, um, cupboards, um, etc., they will all have this sandstone floor. Right then, that's that done. Sorry about that, I made a bit of a slight error um, on here. Um, yes, the cupboard, the, basically the storage is actually not on the floor, it's held up. Um, I'm currently designing some racking to go in there. So that basically, that side of the racking, that side where the storage will be. But, yeah, it'll look alright, I hope. If not, I'll just redesign that cupboard, no big problem. So I've got a couple of tiles missing. Um, they're over there. I'm not going to go digging through all the uh, one by one tile I've got over on that desk. I'll just put that in afterwards. So let's put some walls in, shall we? Get that tan. And 
LBG. Got to remember to leave the apertures for the windows. I've done that before. I do sound rough. I'm not very well. Turns out it's not tightness. Just a bit unwell. So, yeah, um, as you can see, the whole floor has had a complete redesign. It's literally been torn off and thrown away, and I'm going to put it back together. Now, don't panic, I've already pre made the bits so we could just slap it all on. There's no blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I'll show you all that in, a, in but a moment. First of all, I need to quickly just lose um, this lower section. See, so it's it's she's quite big. For a moment, right. Let me bring this lower section back in again. So, this lower section's had a complete redesign. Everything's been torn off it. Um, the doors are not going in at the moment. I don't have, excuse me, I don't have the six L pulls. Um, the six L pulls are from um, an umbra, like a, a sunshade umbrella for the garden. You know the big parasol thing. Anyway, it's one of those. I don't have any. Um, I put an order in this morning for some of them, so they'll be in a few days. And then I can put the doors in. But the doors not going in today. But that's not the big point. The point is, I've redesigned the floor for a reason. I had an idea and it's worked. I'll bring it in now. Right. That's the walls. Again, pre made. But that's not the big thing. actual balconies that's right i've actually gone and made balconies that actually work <laughs> now as i always say when you're doing these builds um you're doing things like this, you, your technique evolves as you're going along because you, as you're building it you're finding better ways to do stuff so because this is going to be the higher floor i thought well it needs a balcony 
a better view of the valley. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I've also swapped out from brown to white. We were with white windows on the upper floors. Um, I just need to find some more white ones because these things are quite expensive at the moment. So we'll pop that in. So yes, balconies. Um, made two balconies. Um, they're made out of reddish brown, obviously, because they're wooden. Well, they're meant to be wood anyway. But yeah, um, four by eight plate, um, one by four by three were windows, gold inlays, and then a mixture of reddish brown corner plates, one by twos, one by fours, one by sixes, one by ones. You name it, these things are cobbled together like you won't believe, but it works. It works. Um, to give it a bit more authenticity, um, I do have these when we attach underneath. They will not be attached to the building, they'll be attached to the balcony. It just means separating the floors is a lot easier. So we're going to slap our walls in. Get them thrown in. Right, got to try and remember now how I actually put these together. So give me a moment. This may, may be about to go all to wrong. But we'll find out in, a, in but a moment. That's the wrong side, that's the right side. That's that side. Got to be careful because there's no support underneath. All right, because you know what? I'm actually going to put one under. Just so when you're pressing down, it doesn't start trying to split um, from the other floors. I would put some more support in there, but I can't because of the fact probably it lips over the side of the building. So because it lips over the side of the building, it then start interfering with the plates below. I can't but by putting those little one by twos in the bottom it's so much better now so much better Just pop them in like that now I do need another window to go on this side but I haven't got one at the moment so soon, actually I'm going to make the hole, but as soon as I get the other window, that one will be going in. That's it. At the moment, I've got a few parts on order. You'd be amazed, though, how difficult it is to actually find the windows in the quantities I need. That it's not going to break the bank. But this, is, this is the way the world works at the moment. So they go on like that. And there you have it. Balconies. Win. <laughs> yeah, we got some balconies. Um, these I'll attach. I'll attach these afterwards. We'll look back on the main structure. Um, and we can look at that. Right now, I need to put um, some walls in. That's what I need to do. What I also need to do is take up these tiles. Actually, no, I need to take up that tile. Yeah, I need to take up that one tile. I need to replace that with a one by one there, and then the pole for the door will actually sit there. So that's cool. Again, I couldn't address that afterwards, no issue. The main problem is, why did you, why did you get all the parts you needed before you started? Well, that's the thing. I put in four or five, maybe six orders of Lego a week. I, I order a lot of Lego. 
I don't know what I like. I've worked out the other day. I've spent over three thousand pounds on this project so far. It's a lot of money. Um, but hey ho, it's a labour of love. So that's all in. Um, they're all in. Let's let's finish the side walls and then we'll do the internal walls. Yeah, I'm just looking at the walls and realising I think I've made a bit of a mistake. I think. Yes, I have. Yes, I have, because that's where the window's meant to go. <laughs> cool. Sorry, I'm just... Yeah, annoyed at myself now because I've done a silly mistake. See, that's the opening where the window is meant to go there. And I filled it up, haven't I? Which is a bit of a silly thing to do when you know what you're doing. Anyway, mistakes happen. So again, I'm still hunting down some one by four masonry pieces. Um, I really do need some. Actually, do you know what I'm actually going to do? Um, where are you? There you are. I'm going to add an uncharacteristic. Hmm. It's just that's quite. It is quite, isn't it? I'm going to add an uncharacteristic reddish brown piece in just to try and hold some of this wall together. Yeah. That holds it together a lot better. It's just thrown off the characteristics of the building a bit. Not to worry. Um, I think I've got, uh, yes, I do. I, I'm looking at it. It's just the more I realise, the more I build this building, the more of it I realise needs strengthening. Right, so that's where we're going to leave that outer wall section for now. Um, obviously, the reddish brown needs to go all the way around the top of it, but I can't do anything because I haven't got the windows yet. So rather than venturing into that, I'm going to focus on doing the internal walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick into a little bit of music, a bit of funk, and um, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes when I've put these internal walls together rather than letting you sit here and listen to me yabber on for a while. Yes. <laughs> uh, speak to you in a few minutes.
change this time um i've got to say i do like that style of music it's done by moog m double o g um from mighty car mods they make all their own music and they're nice enough to let me use it which is cheers boys um but yeah link in the description below to uh their playlist it's pretty cool actually it's pretty cool anyway anyway um i've put the floor together as you can see um, I'm waiting on the six L poles to do hang the doors, waiting on windows. Um, I'm also waiting on the um, the plate to go across the top there. Don't have any left. So I've currently got quite a bit of that on order at the moment. Just got to wait for Brits to arrive now. Um, you notice as well, this corner's had a redesign. This whole section here has been torn out. Um, I'm not going to go with a cupboard on this floor. I'm going to go with um, a staircase. Excuse me. I don't believe there'll be enough room for a staircase and a cupboard. So I'm just going to go with a staircase on this floor. Um, make it a bit different. I do like the look of the balconies. It'd be nice if I could actually reconstruct them in um, stone. But again, I don't actually have any 1x4s. Of masonry to tie it all together if i did i would but i don't so i'm going to stick with that color for now it may change um but yeah as always the floors are very sturdy 
but yeah thanks for watching today anyway it's much appreciated um we're back soon with some more building of this this is floor four um we then got five and six to go and then the roof so technically you could say it's seven floors but i'm going to say it's six but anyway thanks for watching hope everyone's enjoyed this build video this build series um lots more to come remember i am in blocks magazine in november this project is in the blocks magazine come and show it some love show them some love for uh their kind their kindness for putting me in there and i'll see you all next time peace out my friends may the fonzie be with you all look after yourselves in these mad times i'll see you soon Ta -da. <laughs> the fonz be with you and also with you let us a a, a.